here we have s remember it is squared look at it squared plus three squared plus two times x we have two s plus two times three that is six plus two raised to power two is four and uh, this x plus three raised to power two is in the form of a plus b raised to power two which is given as a squared plus 2ab plus b squared and don't forget this is equal to zero yeah so if we do this here our a is x and our b is 3 so if we substitute we have x squared plus 2 times x times 3 plus b is 3 raised to power 2 and um, if this is done we have s squared plus 2 times 3 6 times s that is 6x plus this is 9 3 raised to power 2 so we're going to in the place of x plus 3 here squared we put s squared plus 6s plus 9 so our equation becomes x plus 1 plus bracket x squared plus 6x plus 9 plus 2x 6 plus this is 6 is 2s 6 plus 4 which is 10 plus 10 is equal to 0 simplify for that to be x plus 1 x squared plus 6s plus 2s that is 8s plus 10 plus 9 19 is equal to 0 and from here we can uh, apply the zero product rule that says x, x plus one equal to zero or x squared plus eight x plus nineteen equal to zero. So if we do this, s here will be equal to minus one. The first part. So so for this second part x squared plus 8s plus 19 equals to 0. So if we employ the quadratic formula that says s is equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Yeah, from here we have our a to be 1 and b to be 8 and c which is a constant as 19 so we substitute our value into the the formula our errors will be equals to minus 8 plus or minus square root of 8 squared minus 4 times 1 times 19 all over 2 times 1 and s will be equals to minus 8 plus or minus square root of 64 minus 4 times 1 4 times 19 that is 76 all over 2 2 times 1 is 2 so x is equal to minus 8 plus or minus square root of minus 12 64 minus 76 is minus 12 all over 2 you see so the negative sign make, makes it an imaginary number because it cannot be found on the number line 
So therefore, we're going to introduce a complex number, which is s is equal to minus 8 plus or minus square root of minus 1 times 12 or over 2. But when you have square root of a times b, it can be written as square root of a times square root of b. So here, we are going to write s to be equals to minus 8 plus or minus square root of minus 1 times square root of 12 or over 2. But square root of minus 1 is equal to i. So in the place of minus 1, I'm going to replace it with i. So s will be equals to minus 8 plus or minus i square root of 4 times 3 or over 2 because 12 can be written as 4 times 3 because 4 is a, is a perfect square we want to bring it out of the square root so s will be equals to minus 8 plus or minus i square root of 2 square root of 4 times square root of 3 over 2 yes so s will be equal to minus 8 plus or minus i 2 times square root of 3 because square root of 4 is 2 all over 2 and we can write this as s equals to minus 8 over 2 plus or minus 2i square root of 3 all over 2. So here, 2 can divide 2 to be 1. 2, 8 divided by 2, which is 4. 2 divided 2, 1, 2, 1. So finally, s will become minus 4 plus or minus i square root of 3. So the values of s will be equal to Previously, we have s, the first value to be s equals to minus 1. So, s is equals to minus 1. And from here, we have minus 4 plus i, square root of 3, and minus 4 minus i, square root of 3. These are the three values of s that can satisfy the equation. But from the values we are having only minus one as the read number while the other ones are imaginary number thank you for staying tuned bye bye